What is up everyone? This is Jakester back again with another banging Apex event video. Today we are doing something so freaking awesome. It is the new Grand Story event in Apex Legends. It is the third event and it is third person mode. This event is so freaking fun. I wish it was lasting for so much longer. What you're going to see in this game footage is going to be tons of raw action in third person mode. The mode is totally different than any other third person game. They have set you up with the easy hip fires. It is just so crazy. You guys are going to love it. Check it out. Let's get right into the video. Alright guys, there are so many great things to talk about this game mode. One, I want to start off with something truly amazing that had me just going off and I was loving about this third person mode. And that is the hip fire is ridiculous. I have footage here of me taking out three people with a gold charge rifle at hip fire and it is just truly freaking amazing. You're going to see that footage in just a moment. There are plenty of footage clips here of me playing with different characters so you're going to get to see all the different characters almost in third person with their skills with their abilities the aiming it's just all so dope so i am so excited about showing you guys this footage especially these charge rifle kills coming okay so in this mode i played with several several different weapons to try out this hip fire little easy access thing now, I also played with several characters so that you could get to see what they look like in third person, how their moves and abilities actually function, which right here with Pathfinder in these clips that I have with him, I noticed that the grapple actually works different than you would expect. And when you reach the end of your grapple range, he actually does a full turnaround and you're actually flying through the air backwards. It's so interesting how they actually work when you're actually getting to see how their body moves. Now, several times in these clips, for some reason, I kept landing on the charge rifle and I kept using it over and over. Now, the charge rifle, the Prowler, the freaking R99, the Peacekeeper, all of it, it's so amazing with the hip fire. But I gotta say, probably the best guns to use in this mode when it was going on were I would have to say the Flatline and the Prowler were definitely one of the top two, definitely guns. They were so easy to hip fire. They're already easy to hip fire, but in this third person mode, it's just ridiculously easy. Not only that, as you can see from this footage and upcoming footage, with the charge rifle, I went absolutely nuts with it. I don't understand how it does so much hip fire damage and I didn't realize it. So many times playing these games I didn't realize how much hip fire damage was used and how easily it can be manipulated to take out some easy enemies, especially these right here that were already down. It was no problem. This is actually not the clip I was talking about, but enjoy this one too. The one I'm talking about is coming, rest assured. But another set of guns was the 99. It's incredibly accurate at hip fire, especially in this mode. And it's a lot easier to use for hip fire in this mode. There are a few other weapons I want to talk about as well. Now, a few of the guns that we already know are awesome, like the Peacekeeper, who's a hip fire machine, even was better in this mode. And then, of course, the EVA 8 is just ridiculous. It felt like it got upgraded, but really, it's just you're playing a different style, a different way, and the hip fire is just so much easier. Not to mention things like the Scout. I don't even understand how I some of the footage I got headshots from across another building with the Scout using hip fire and that double tap. It's just is so crazy i don't even understand how i've been playing this game for so long and not using the hip fire at its best like i should have and rest assured from now on future footage i will be hip firing a lot more now other guns that were highly useful in this were the devotion and the charge rifle the devotion and the havoc especially of that turbocharger it's just unheard of you can just fire away with no problem at all 
Some of this footage is just outright silly, like here how I managed to destroy with the flatline till I ran out of ammo, then destroyed with the charge rifle at hip fire, and managed to dodge Bangalore's whatever that's called, her ultimate right there, and still got away to save my teammates. Now I was trying to revive them in the middle of all this chaos, and at one point I'd almost made it to my teammate and a random grenade came in and screwed up the whole thing and I missed it but I did manage to get away and employ the revive on my teammates a little bit farther in the clip we ended up clapping some fools right after that and it was pretty awesome but as you can see this game mode is just so chaotic everybody's out in the open everybody's just running the gun and nobody's holding anything back and it's all unexpected gameplay and I have plenty more to bring you and plenty more stuff i guess you can say about this game mode so stay tuned now as we continue the chaos of the apex legends grand sorority third event which is third person mode if you guys are enjoying this chaotic footage then please drop a like because that would be greatly appreciated and if you think this is trash and you're not enjoying it then give me a thumbs down because i will take that as well it's always helpful now the storm is ridiculous in this third person mode it's like i totally forgot about the storm the whole time you totally get wrapped up in all the chaos and the dodging and ducking and diving and just trying to take out anybody that's around you that you totally forget about the storm i don't know why you would think the storm would be something that you would worry about but for some reason i forgot it and here in this clip me and my friend tried to play this revive tag and it did not end so well this is after i arrived my teammates after that last clip and i was so pissed at myself because we had such a good lead and we screwed it up now one major thing about this third person view is that there are moments, small glitches and other things as you just saw here several times, it will pull you back into first person mode only in certain situations. The first one is that if you are too close to your teammates, whether they're looting a box and you're looting a box or y'all are looting a capsule or you're just surviving or you run into your teammates, it will put you back in first person mode for that split second or the time that you guys are right up on each other and that can really throw off your gameplay. Or if you're shooting an enemy and they run up on you and they come too close, it will immediately pull you back into first person which can, then could throw off your aiming and everything. It's very much a nuisance and it caused me a few problems in this game. The second instance where you will be thrown in first person is when using a super big scope and aiming down the sights. Now that being said it's not all scopes now just like the gold scopes or the like four to eights you know the six times the big big scopes when you aim down sights it is going to bring you into first person mode as if you're aiming down sights normal. Now if you have one of the other scopes say you have it three times or you have a one to two or an HCOG regular scope what it's going to do is when you go to click the zoom in on there it's going to zoom in your view from third person if that makes sense so the crosshairs that you have there when you zoom in on them it's just going to zoom in that view instead of actually aiming down sights through the first person visuals like normal now that being said it is very hard to work with certain snipers because it's hard to go from first person to third person first person to third person in the heat of battle and you're just thrown off track completely so it really messed up my game several times but it's just something you gotta work through there's always glitches and mods and little different stuff you gotta get used to when playing with temporary limited time events like this one now now another thing with this event just like the other events for some reason, the drops change, like the loot that's there normally isn't there, the high loot areas are now all over the place, kind of like the gold rush. People land in totally different places, it like makes no sense. So you go to capital expecting 15 teams to be there, turns out there's only one there, you make your way over to Lava City, whatever, it hasn't even been looted. Several times I hit the train. Nobody went there. I don't understand why, but people really flipped up their playing style and went to totally different locations. Because like you can see people from across the map so easily now in third person. It is so weird. Your view is so huge. There's just so much difference with it. 
Now, as you guys can clearly see from the footage, my favorite legend to use for this particular event ended up being Octane. I used several characters, but I just felt like Octane had the most advantage, even over Pathfinder sometimes in these situations, because he's so mobile. He can move around so easy, he can dip in and out, and for some reason, he just feels more fluid when I was fighting against him. He just made the hip firing so much better. Now, here is an example right here what I mean with the sights. On this one, you can see that I actually had a two to four sight and it didn't zoom in on the actual first person mode. It just zoomed in the third person view with your reticle or with your crosshair. So it is a little bit complicated and you have to get used to that. Overall, I absolutely love this mode. I cannot stand the fact that they took it away already. I'm obsessed with it. I hope it comes back. I hope it makes another appearance. It was just so fun to get all up in the action and be in the middle of things. Like right here, this was just chaotic. There's so many teams here. I ended up taking the one down. It's two other teams ran in on me. I had one teammate down. It was just so bad, but it was so fun at the same time. So if you guys did miss this, event i'm so sorry you missed something amazing if you love apex but overall i think that apex is doing amazing with the events and i cannot wait for the next event if you guys don't know what that is it's coming next video i got it and that event is ring never stops closing that is right boys and girls that ring is going to be constantly closing in through the whole match it's going to be chaos it's going to be 100 people fighting at once in a big mosh pit i am so excited to get that footage play that game i'll be jumping on that as soon as i'm done with this video so stay tuned for that now, as we come to the final clip of this mode, I just want to say thank you guys to everyone who checks out my videos. I only got 7 subscribers, but I don't even care. I only get a few views. I don't even care. If it's one view, it's awesome. If it's no views, I'm still going to make the content because I enjoy making it and I love this freaking game. And I just love doing YouTube all together. With that being said, thank you each and every one of you for every bit of action or interaction or anything that you put on my channel. I love everyone and I am so happy to be doing this as my second channel. If you want to check out my main channel, it is just called Jegster. I'll leave a link to that in the description. You can check that out where I do challenges and adventure vlogs and other stuff in my more less gaming lifestyle. So I want to say it again, thank you everyone for always checking out my content, whoever does, and I greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'll be bringing you this next video, Ring Always Closing In, tomorrow, so stay tuned, and if you did enjoy it and you want to see more, subscribe because I play other games and I have other content on this channel as well to do with Call of Duty Mobile and Red Dead Redemption and I'm uploading like four times a week at this point so you guys are definitely going to want to stay tuned and check it out I am out that is it I hope you guys enjoy this final little clip and the rest of the video and have a blessed freaking day I'll catch you guys in the next video you're beautiful never forget that spread the peace and love and help people whenever you can peace out guys